year, the Drug Enforcement Agency asked for people's unused prescription drugs. This year, they're hoping to beat last year's drop-off record. WDSU's Tammy Eswick has more on today's Roundup. Betty Chambers dropped off over 100 bottles of unneeded medication at the Uptown Oshner drop-off location. She's been holding on to these bottles for years because she kept missing the drop-off date. Where would all this medication be if you didn't donate it today? Still in my house. I don't throw, I don't throw it in the trash ever. Chambers says she has a lot of people that visit her and she's concerned that someone could swipe a bottle. I'm seeing all these overdoses and everything and at one point I know that there are people that take other people's medicine. Volunteers here at Oshner tell us that they've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. It's now about 1230. They say these are all those prescription drugs they've collected so far. One worker tells us it's about 20 pounds per box. This is the seventh year for the DEA National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Thank you so much. The DEA says Americans turned in more unused prescription drugs last year than any previous year. We're talking about 447 tons, approximately the weight of two full grown blue whales. Stephen Azam is the special agent in charge for the New Orleans Field Division of the DEA. For Louisiana, we had about 3,500 pounds the last time we did this program. New Orleans perished last year. We had more opioid deaths than we had homicide deaths. So this overdose death rate is alarming and it goes across all lines, all boundaries and everywhere. Medicine is not to be played with. In New Orleans, Tammy Eswick for WDSU News. And if you missed today's drug take back day, a second one will be held later on this year. That date has not yet been announced. <laughs>